I request Headmaster Maharaj a bouquet of flowers for the revered President Maharaj. Master Maharaj will now felicitate Dr. Mohua Das, the President of the West Bengal Council of Higher Secondary Education. We will also greet and welcome Secretary Maharaj, who is our guiding light. Uh, Headmaster Maharaj will do the honors. And also a bouquet of flowers to our own Brahmachari Turiya Chaitanya. Uh, the Secretary Maharaj will present him with the bouquet. Now, words of welcome by Swami Sarvalokanandaji Ji Maharaj, the Secretary of the Ramakrishna Mission Ashram, Narendra Bhu. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mithyurma Amrita Gamaya Om Shanti 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 All our leaders from unreal to real, leaders from darkness to light, leaders from death to immortality, Om, peace, peace, peace. I am very much delighted to extend warm welcome to all of you on the auspicious occasion of inauguration of laboratory building of Vidyalaya. Ramakrishna Mission Ashram, Narendrapur. It is indeed, it is a matter of great joy and pride that most revered Swami Smanarandaji Maharaj, President of Ramakrishna Martin Mission, has just inaugurated the laboratory building. More spacious, well arranged and well designed laboratory building was very much needed. With the blessings of Holy Trio, Sri Ramakrishna, Masarada and Swami Vivekananda, and the financial assistance from Education Department Government of West Bengal and help and cooperation of all concerned. Today, new laboratory building has come into existence. In the building, in the new building, laboratory building, there will be laboratories, first floor, and the ground floor, chemistry laboratory, biology laboratory, and the second floor, the first floor will be the physics laboratory. There is one multi-purpose hall where more than 200 students can sit for any kind of seminar, workshop, symposium. 
and other special classes. Just now the compare was telling and today I am very happy to announce that multi-purpose hall has been named after Swami Asaktanandaji Maharaj. Perhaps all of you know that Swami Asaktanandaji was the first headmaster of this prestigious Vidyalaya school. Not only that, he was secretary of Ramakrishna Mission Asam Narendrapur for 35 years. I think in future nobody will be able to break his record. 35 years he was secretary of Ramakrishna Mission Ashram in Narendrapur. Dear friends, particularly the students sitting before me, I would like to tell them what is worrying us very much today is erosion of values. Muller Bodher Abakai. Without value, a human being cannot be considered as a human being. Very rightly, our scripture declared, Dharma na hina pasubhi samana. Without dharma, without values, without righteousness, a human being is nothing but animal. Dear friends, values can make a person great, make the society strong and vibrant, there is no doubt about it. In this context, I'd like to tell you, particularly the students, very interesting story. A person was selling different color of balloons flying in the sky. A Negro boy came and saw that there is no black colored balloon flying in the sky. Out of curiosity, that Negro boy asked the balloon seller, Sir, we don't find a black colored balloon flying in the sky. Then the seller replied, my dear boy, it is not the color, but it is the content in the balloon which makes a balloon fly in the sky. So color is important, but the content in the balloon is very important. Similarly, dear friends, the values, dharma, righteousness takes a person higher and higher height. There is no doubt about it. Very simple value of truthfulness transformed Randanath into Swami Vivekananda. I would like to tell you an incident in the life of Narendra when he was a school student, geography teacher, came to the class to teach the geography to the students, and the teacher asked this Narendra, can you answer this question? All of you know that Narendra was a very meritorious student. Immediately he answered. But anyhow, the teacher was not convinced with the answer of Nandra The teacher told him that your answer is not correct. With all humility, Nandra said, Sir, whatever I have said, what answer I have given is 100% correct. But anyhow, the teacher was not convinced. And at last, Nandra was turned out from the classroom 
And then he was thinking in himself, what is the matter? For speaking truth, he was humiliated, insulted, turned out from the classroom. With a heavy heart, he's going back home. His great mother, Bhuvini Sri Devi, asking Nandranath, Naren, Tura Mona is Atar Kano Bharakranta. Why you are looking so morose? Nandranath narrated the whole incident to his mother and tried to listen and remember what was the answer of Mother Bhuvani Devi. It was a great lady. She said, Naren, in your life, throughout your life, don't compromise with truth. Whatever may be the consequences, Bolchen Bhuvani Devi, Naren, Konodin Sotte Sanya Apos Kurvina. Tate Joto Bhayankari Falafal Hoknagano. Whatever may be the consequences. Not only that, further is she said. What is she said? Always stick to truth. In the later life, Swami Vivekananda said, What I have become today, because of great teaching, great advice given by Mother Bhuvaneswari Devi. Throughout my life, I haven't compromised with the truth. It is simple truth, goodness, the well, transform ordinary Mohan Chand, Mohandas Karam Chand Gandhi into Mahatma Gandhi. So dear friends, in the olden days when the teacher used to teach a student First lesson, the teacher is to give Satyam Bada Dharam Amchara. They practice righteousness, practice truthfulness. And dear friends, the, in the very basis and foundation of Indian culture and civilization tradition is truthfulness. That is why you will find the emblem Indian emblem, Satya Mena Jayate. It was taken from the great Upanishads. The truth alone triumphs, non falsehood. Dear friends, Swami's message for all of us is be truthful, be courageous, be loving, be unselfishness, unselfish. <laughs> This is the message of Swami Vivekananda for all of us. Dear friends, today India, not only India, the whole world is passing through the crisis. The times are critical. The challenges are great and urgent. The stakes are high. The whole world is in strife and turmoil and conflict. Dear friends, you are the, as the agent of change in the society. You can bring transformation in the society. That is why Swami Vivekananda has reposed great faith and confidence of the Indian youth. That is why he said very categorically, my faith in modern generation, younger generation, and out of them, my worker will come for regeneration of India. Dear friends, you can raise India. And we hear the slogan of making India. Dear friends, particularly the students, young students, you can make India great. You have that power, you have that strength that you can make India great. Swami Vivekananda visualized that one day India will become Vishwa Guru, the world teacher. And Swamiji's word will come true. Because Swamiji was not an ordinary person, he was a Rishri. And Rishi Vakya is always Apta Vakya. So Swamiji's word will come true. And Swamiji's words are coming true. India has made tremendous progress in different fields. But unfortunately, India could not hit the target of progress. 
even after independence of after 70 years. So dear friends, so you can bring change and transformation in the society. I don't want to take much of your time. I am, we are blessed. We are fortunate to have most revered President Maharaj with us. You know, his age is more than 90. But whenever we invite him to any of his, he immediately responds, yes, I will come, because he loves Narendrapur. He loves Narendrapur, particularly, particularly the lush green scenario, the lush green scene, and the city the atmosphere of his world. I remember when he was General Secretary of Ramakrishna Martin Mission, he many times he visited Ramakrishna Mission Asram Narendrapur. And he was so much impressed and moved by the wonderful activities of each and every department of Narendrapur, Ramakrishna Mission Asram. Once he told all he asked all young monk of headquarters, Belumat, go and see, visit Ramakrishna Mission Ashram Narendrapur. What a wonderful work is being done in the Narendrapur. So Maharaj, I, from the bottom of my heart, I welcome <coughs> we had Maharaj to this auspicious occasion. On my behalf, and we have a all present here, offer our respectful pronouns to him. We are very much fortunate to have our minister in charge, Department of Education, of West Bengal, Dr. Partho Chatterjee. I I, I reluctant to say Partho Chatterjee, it is his official name, but to us, he is our Partho Dai. Because, because he is a student of our Vidyalaya, but he has not forgotten his alma mater. Whenever we go to him for any kind of help and cooperation or any kind of assistance, Never, he said no. We are sitting here in this hall, very magnificent hall. The government of West Bengal Higher Education Department has given more than seven crores for this construction of this building. And we are just now inaugurated by the President Maharaj, the laboratory building. It is also financed by <coughs> Department of Education, Government of West Bengal. When one of our assistant secretary headmaster approached him for this financial assistant, then he said, Maharaj, Amitu is Hidini College on Ektaka Dilam. Akun Kali Ramkisan Mission is the D. Akuni, Kahalipoli Loko, the Akur Ramkisan Mission Kali, the Yacham Ramsam is on K. Favor Porch, Apnara, Akmas Porasun. And he's kept his word. Again, after say two months, we approached him for renovation of our Vivekananda Centenary Hall. And he has kept his word. He has sanctioned two crores for renovation of this. Sanjay Hall, Dilgan Sanjay Hall. Dear friends, we are also very fortunate to have Dr. Munho Das with us, the President of West Bengal Council of Higher Secondary Education. She is very much devoted. When I called him on the dais, called her on the dais, she was standing. You know why you were standing? 
Please, please take your seat. He tell you are standing. How can I sit? It it, it 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 shows that how much respect he has. He has for the manners, for the institution. So once again, I would like to extend warm welcome. Good number of monks and brahmacharis sitting before me, coming from different center, Calcutta and around Calcutta. And uh, here I see many teachers, the professors, the guests, the guardians, and my dear students. My dear students are present here. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of them on behalf of Ramakrishna Mission Ashram, Narendra Pur. I wrap up. When I wrap up any speech, I conclude with the famous Vedic prayer that is Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya. May all be happy. May all be healthy. Namaskar, Dhanavan. Saradam Devi, Ramakutnam Jagat Guru, Pada Padme Tayotitva, Pranamami Mabamu. Dr. Partha Chaturji, Dr. Muha Dad, and friends and devotees, and all the students who are, who are here, I convey to them my happiness. We see that so many students have been able to get admission particularly in the science stream. I congratulate the I congratulate the faculty members. I am sorry I am not able to speak much because I am not in a position to do so. Anyway, if I because I was thinking about this and then if Swamiji were to be here on this occasion, how glad he would have been. He had talked about science and religion and he had he would have congratulated students and the boys and the faculty members. I am very glad to come and attend this function. I only wish that you all pass creditably in the examination. Sometimes some students come to me and they want to bless the pen with which they will write. They will write. I told them that with, I told them that is not, pen is not going to write the examination. That you will have to do yourself. So one of the important teachings of Swamiji is that you be self-reliant. Self-reliant and then Swamiji says that be and make. So we will have to train our voice to learn how to be self-reliant, how to be strong, how to be truthful. All this forms part of the real education. I 
congratulate the, our students, our teachers, and the moms who are looking after the boys and the headmaster. I congratulate all of you and pray to Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna to bless the Bhagavan so that they can get become good members of the society. I wish them all well. I pray to the Lord to bless them. I, I think I have you know? Thank you. The revered President Maharaj will now take leave. I request everyone to rise in honor of him.